lovelies, my name is Jessica and welcome to Make a Misfit. And today I'm back with an update for Pan That Palette. Yes, as mentioned before, I skipped a bunch of projects at the beginning of March because it was my birthday time. So we are back and those updates are coming now. So here we are with my Pan That Palette. This is my Lorac Mini Pro Palette in Winter Rose. I will put up a photo of what it looked like at the last update back in February and I had hit my first pan in the shade Everglow and I'm ready to show you guys what the palette's looking like now. But before I do, I do just want to mention that if I did do an update back in March, it was not going to be that exciting. I really was not reaching for this palette very often throughout the month of February. January, I was like focusing in on it. February, I seemed to take a little bit of a break, but over the last couple of weeks or so, I really tried to focus in on this palette just a little bit more, hoping to get a little bit more progress. And I can say that I definitely have, and I now have pan in this shimmer shade right here. It is little, but it is pan nonetheless. Now, the rest of the shades have some decent dips going on in them. This matte shade down here, I think I'm going to hit pan in this one pretty quickly. Over the month of January, I was really panning a whole look with this palette, as I mentioned in the February update, by using all six shades. I did not do that recently at all. I was really focusing in on just like one or two shades, doing more of a one and done or a two and done look, this all over the lid. Sometimes I would top this over it or put it in the inner corner just to get a little bit of use on it. Um, so I think that that's Something I'm going to continue to do because I did enjoy doing that, but I also want to go back to panning all six looks or all six shades in just one look. That's really where I got most of my use on these darker shades right here because if you've heard me once, you've heard me twice, I don't like to wear the deep, dark, matte, or shimmer shades, but I really was getting good use out of these two by focusing them in with all six shades. I have also worn them with other shimmer, with other shades that I've been focusing on, but I really haven't been reaching for them at all recently. But surprisingly, I think that it's this deep shimmer that has a half decent dip in it considering. And I'm pretty sure that this is probably going to be the last uh, shade that I hit pan on. I'll be surprised if it's not, but that's just kind of where things seem to be heading right now. So I would like to get back to panning my look with this. Basically, it was all three mattes in the crease, all three shimmers on the lid. This was the inner half, this was the center, and this was the outer. And it looked beautiful. I absolutely enjoyed the look. It was super simple, super easy. And even though I was using all six shades, it didn't look too much. It was nice. It was blended well together and I really enjoyed it. So I think I'm going to try and go back to that over the next couple of weeks or so and see how much more progress I'm able to get. I really do think that this is probably going to be the first matte shade that I hit pan in. It's got a really nice dip going on in it. And I'm just excited to see a lot more use and a lot more progress on this palette. I know in January, I believe, I said that I was hoping to maybe finish this palette off by middle of the year, June, July. I don't think that's going to happen, and I'm more than okay with that. I want to obviously completely finish off this palette, but as long as I get that done by the end of the year, I would be more than happy with that. I'm thinking I can probably finish off a few of these shades a lot sooner than that, but as long as every shade has pan in it and then I'm able to completely finish this off by November or December, I think I will be more than happy and have one more palette out of my collection just by usage. So I'm super excited about that. So that is it for that update. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned for next month to see which shades I tend to hit pan on, which ones may end up expanding to see a little bit more shiny pan in that palette. And that is all. So thank you guys so, so much. I will see you guys all later. Bye.